Right on guys, so today we're doing a review of the Medieval Shops Wentlessness Helmet, that's this one right here. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty, so this is a 14 gauge helmet which is roughly two and a half kilograms in weight, perfectly realistic for the time. This goes right through from the early medieval periods, in fact in fact could even date right into the classical periods for helmets such as this right throughout the whole medieval period although they became a lot less popular during the time of the crusades as uh, helmets with more face protection became the norm that said for the ordinary everyday soldier a helmet such as this would have been perfectly reasonable this helmet has a inner circumference of 72.5 centimeters, which is fantastic. It allows me to wear a proper chainmail coif and a heavy arming cap underneath, which is going to protect me from slashing blows and percussive blows. Unlike a lot of the helmets you'll find uh, typically available, and especially the cheaper ones, a helmet such as this is perfectly suitable for M1 uh, for M1 combat and for SCA heavy combat and medieval reenactment. What I really like about this helmet, because of the size, I can put across my face guard and I'm totally protected and this is a very realistic setup from the, the time period. A helmet such as this, uh, it, this helmet is based off a find from the Prague Castle, although back in the medieval period probably would have just simply been known as the castle. Very similar to one that was found there, which we tend to associate with the first Duke of Bohemia, King Wenceslas. Who was assassinated in 935, we suspect by his brother. Okay, so in terms of cost, this is a very, very uh, reasonable helmet. I really do like it. I think this is fantastic. Uh, I, I, I think the price point is, is very realistic for a 14 gauge helmet. This is superb. This is going to protect me from a lot of the slashing and glancing blows. I really, really, really like it. I really think this is a, a well manufactured piece. Uh, and I think that um, the, the price is, is a very suitable, very realistic price for uh, such a well made and well crafted piece. So I'm giving this 9 out of 10. Thoroughly recommend it. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.